Intelligent Engine is our vision for the future. It brings together the world of product, services and digital technology to result in a better outcome for our customers. Since February, when we launched the concept, we've been talking about specific examples and making tangible progress in all three worlds of product, services and digital technology. So, examples that we're speaking about this week at the show, in the area of Connected, we're talking about the state-of-the-art and advanced engine health monitoring unit that we've got on our new Pearl engine, which we launched at eBase back in May. This enables the engine to be the first Internet of Things enabled engine. Very, very well connected, not only to Rolls-Royce, but also to the operator's infrastructure. Allows us to get thousands more parameters and really understand and be able to get a better feeling for what that engine's experiencing. And it's also bi-directional communication. Real advancements in the connected world. Next area of tangible progress, a good example would be in the area of being contextually aware. And here we've been making great progress in applying this kind of digital application of data and techniques to understanding how the engine operates and responds to volcanic ash, which has been a, an area that has caused the industry some difficulties over the past years with some of the eruptions of volcanoes around the world. This actually won uh, us an award from the CAA and has allowed us to better understand what levels of volcanic ash an engine can fly through and what the effect will be upon that engine, while maintaining safety at all times. And the final example would be of comprehending. And here, it might sound like a trivial example, but it isn't, it's actually very important. We've been using the application of big data techniques and analytics to understand the effects of atmospheric conditions upon the engine when we're taking measurements. In this case, we're talking about dialing out the effects of humidity in the air when measuring the gas temperature at the back of the turbine. This is great because what it allows us to do is keep that engine on wing longer, which of course leads to one of the two outcomes that we're seeking from the intelligent engine, which is better availability of that asset. The other outcome, of course, being better efficiency of the asset. It's only early days with the Intelligent Engine. We only launched it back in February, but it's an incredibly exciting vision, and I personally remain extremely excited about it. Not only are we going to keep bringing the examples of where we're making tangible progress in the worlds of connectivity and comprehending and textually aware, but we're going to be talking even in the show this week about further exciting technologies such as the use of robots to maintain the engine and get inside and perform maintenance activities. It's a really exciting vision and allows us to align everything that we're doing within civil aerospace behind it. Getting those worlds of the connected, contextually aware and comprehending, bringing examples to life, all about reaching those two outcomes that are crucial for our customers of improved efficiency of the engine and improved availability so that they know that their assets there when they need it to be. It's an incredibly exciting time and we've got so much more to come.